The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's brand depends on their royal connections, commentator and author Robert Hardman has claimed. And, as the time goes by following their split from the firm, they are destined to no longer be at the forefront of the news agenda, the royal expert added. In an interview with website Right Royalty, Mr. Hardman said, I think their brand depends entirely on their royal status and their royal connections, and therefore this is what they are going to have to trade on, however much they say otherwise. It will be the royal stuff in Harry's book, when it comes out, that people want to know about, not the worthy charitable activity. And I think as time goes on, like the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, they will inevitably slowly receive from top billing on the news agenda. But I think it will be a slow process. The Duke of Windsor, former King Edward VIII, was the Queen's uncle who abdicated in 1936 to marry the woman he loved, American socialite Wallace Simpson. After he abruptly positioned then Princess Elizabeth in the direct line of succession to the throne, he moved to France where he married Mrs. Simpson and only returned a handful of times to Britain during his lifetime. Mr. Hardman added the Duke of Sussex was incredibly popular among Britons before stepping down as a senior member of the firm, also due to the great work he was doing with veterans, the Invictus Games and with the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. Prince Harry and Meghan officially bowed out of the firm as its senior members at the end of March 2020. The Duke and Duchess have since relocated to California with their son Archie Harrison and, in their new mansion located in the star-studded Santa Barbara neighborhood of Montecito, they welcomed their daughter Lilibet Lily Diana last June. As they relinquished their senior roles in the firm, they had to return to the Queen their royal and military patronages and can no longer undertake royal duties. On the other hand, they can now strike profitable financial deals, as they have done with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify. Prince Harry is currently working as executive producer of Heart of Invictus, a docu-series focused on a group of Invictus Games contestants and on the healing power of sport. Domus Frazzled, Kate Middleton on Regal at Pippa's wedding, Insight, The Queen's Best Bad Mood was telling Prince William off, Report, Princess Beatrice unfazed by balcony snub as she attends Chibuli event. Picks, the Duchess was also working as one of the executive producers of animated series, Pearl, but the show was axed by Netflix as part of a wider cost-cutting move. Nevertheless, Megan has her hands full as she is preparing to launch her first podcast for Spotify, Archetypes. The Duke is also continuing the work on mental health and well-being he started as a working royal, albeit as chief impact officer of coaching and mental health firm Batterup. Megan and Harry are also carrying on with their non-profit work through the Archiewell Foundation, which they founded in late 2020. Among their main focuses, they are gender equality, racial justice, the fight against misinformation and the creation of a more humane online space. While the pair no longer have an active role within the royal family and, as non-working royals, they announced last week they will travel back to the UK to mark the Queen's historic Platinum Jubilee. A spokeswoman for Harry and Meghan said last Friday, Prince Harry and